12 Years a Slave opened up in theaters this weekend, the cast and the director showed up in Hollywood at the Director's Guild for the Los Angeles premiere. We caught up with the cast, hear what they had to say. Do not fall into despair. I will keep myself hearted till freedom is opportune. 12 Years a Slave. Well, I was a free man. K do. Yeah, yeah. All right, Black Street. We have uh, Chiwetel Agent Four, and, and I guess my first question is like we've we've posted some interviews online that we've talked to you guys in Toronto and New York, and some people say, "Why don't y'all just get over it?" What do you think about the people that say that say that we should get over the story of slavery or these type of stories? Well, you can't you can't get over it. It's around us every day. It's around. It's part of our lives. It's part of the rich history and tapestry of our existence, and we've got to. We have to all look at the past and 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 and, and, and use the past as a way of, of going forward and progressing. You know, you can't ignore these things. They, they they fester and they hurt and they run deep. And you've got to understand why things get to a certain place and how things develop. Otherwise, you don't have any answers. You don't know what to think, and you start making it up, and then you you come down with the wrong answers. And uh, and they and the wrong answers just lead you down a road of of, of, uh, of of disaster. And and you could even run the risk of repeating some of the things that you are trying to ignore. So um, so no, I think it's a mistake to try and uh, to try and uh, sort of box everything up if it makes you feel slightly uncomfortable and try and shove it away. These things happen. It's important that we deal with them. All right, Black Street TV. I see you smiling. Because I have one of my favorite new actresses, Miss Lupita Nyong'o. How you doing? I'm well. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Such a powerful performance. I mean, how does it feel for all these great actors to still be looked at as stand out, even amongst all these great performances? It's uh, it's kind of otherworldly, to tell you the truth. It's uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot, and it's wonderful and inspiring and overwhelming as well. I mean, I feel kind of like you're, you know, like a master of this chemistry thing. How how important is it? Because you have fast bender that's along for for all your all your pictures, and the cinematographer has been there a while. How important? I mean, how important is it for you to have those key players that have like continued to deliver in your pictures? It's, a, it's key. I mean, again, it's like family. So when you come together, almost like musicians in a band, you know their timing you know when they're gonna come in and there's, there's some kind of reliability to that so having like Michael Fassbender and Sean Bobbitt the cameraman was just a joy to, to, to work with and also to bring in Chiwetel bringing in Lupita into the into the the mix was just uh, yeah it was it was a great chemistry right, right. all right thank you for your time thank you. Thank you. All right. and Mr. John really here who, who wrote the screenplay with 12 years of slave and it's a is an adaptive screen screenplay how is it how was the challenge of like taking that narrative and like breaking it down into the the time that we could watch it in a, in a theater? It was it was difficult in the fact that you're taking 12 years and you've got to reduce it to about an hour and a half. And looking at that story and saying, at least for me, that I didn't want to add things, I didn't want to create things. I just wanted to take what was there and was so powerful and so singular in my opinion and have the audience feel the things that I felt when I originally read it. So for me it was just taking those moments that moved the narrative forward, that really illuminated Solomon and those key characters and trying to hone the narrative around those bits. And once I was able to do that, there was certainly a lot of other work involved, but the story had its own drive, it had its own emotional velocity. Nothing is easy, but once I honed it down to that, it was it was very obvious what that story should be. What I loved about your character is it exemplified kind of like the duality that time for the black experience where you had some blacks in the free states that were able to shop like you are and everything else and, and others that are slaves. What, what, how familiar do you think the world is with those type of stories before this movie hits the screen? I don't think very. I think there's an idea that we were only in one socioeconomic place in that time period. So I think seeing that juxtaposition and then having someone literally snatched out of it into the other uh, into the other world is actually going to be very educational for a lot of people. 